the ethos plus this part, part of the <coughs> dashboard, I would like to draw your attention here. Uh, this, these are the top tickets, that means the actual live tickets that team is working on so that they know what are the actual active faults. These are top tickets nationally and uh, these are the network layer wise or the function wise, the network equipment wise tickets. <coughs> For the, uh, the automation piece, which I want to explicitly mention more, is the, the umbrella fault management system that we have. It is smart enough, into, which does a lot of enrichment. See, normally what happens if a base station goes wrong, it sends a lot of alarms. So base station is sending alarms to the controller station from where it goes to EMS and NMS. <coughs> and from there it comes to the actual fault management system where we process all those alarms. But in addition to that, we add a lot of information to it like this base station is from which location, what is the address of this base station, this is in ground base or rooftop or which type of BTS is this, how many uh, you know sectors are there or what are the connectivity events, bandwidth is given to this site. All that information is readily present and the operator can see that on this screen. Whenever an alarm hits, that comes with all this pre-populated information Again, this is an automation capability that is which zone, which circle, which engineer, all this information is present on one click. So in case when he receives a call from field engineer or staff, he is able to address effectively and efficiently because he gets all that information on his screen right away. So let's take one example wherein we drill down from a national level to one specific circle. Uh, let's click on Punjab maybe. So again, you can see the uh, representation is almost the same. Now you can see the Punjab, there are 11 sites now. We have got 2G only in Punjab, so there are 11 uh, 2G sites now. Again, the breakup of that. This is the trend for the last 24 hours, this Punjab site now trend. So that is also being monitored, and we know if something is suddenly going up and down. The other interesting part is we have got a weather integration also, so in case of any again issues, we know what is the weather situation. Now the next interesting piece is here, where we have done the drill down from national to circle from circle to zone. So now in Punjab you can see there are Chandigarh or Amritsar, so all these zones and the respective site downs in that zone. Now this symbols represents the severity of the tickets. So based on the impact of the incidents, the tickets are classified as E1, E2, that is emergency critical major. So uh, you can see that there are no uh, those kind of tickets. Let's, let's see Jalandhar as one example. So there is one site down in Jalandhar. <coughs> Uh, so this is the ticket number for Jalinda. Just click on the details of the Yeah. Yeah. So here you can very clearly say, like uh, Vishwan sir was mentioning, we have a RCA smart correlation built in. It clearly <coughs> depicts the site is down because of power or transmission. And then the site is down from last 30, uh, 30 minutes. And then you can see that further there is an update. No, there I think power I think issues. Power site down on battery. Yes. Door open, door open. So it actually tell you in the physical condition of site why the site has gone down. Okay. So that's what I think the smart correlation. When engineer gets ticket, he exactly know by the time he can think why this is down. So he has to just go and fix it. That's what the job he has to do now. At least. Now the interesting piece is this information is going to him on SMS also, yeah. and this goes to him as an email also. And this process that we talk about, that process is implemented in the tools and systems that we have where the workflows are clearly defined. And if somebody is not acknowledging or not actioning, there are auto escalations again enabled. So this all systems and flows are you know, clogged by tax. So we have very stringent tax to handle all these flows. And that's how we manage the entire network. What's the norms? Are actually automated and standardized. But we have clearly a escalation process, technical escalation and management escalation. Well, in place, in case of any no attention intervention effort, we do that as well. So that's, that's, all, uh, that's it. There's equal opportunity over here. You see that you know they can go to any other place and those kind of things at least. So these things are taken care of not only here, even for the facility life, for the restroom and those kind of things. So this facility is actually is capable of you know giving an equal opportunity to all kind of uh, people. Yeah. You know, the data center for this entire thing facility is housed in Ahmedabad. So one, BCP VIS, we have separated the NOC and the data center. Mm -hmm. Now, we also have another NOC in the Puna, right? So there's a, for NOC, there's a BCP between this NOC and that NOC. 
in case for some reason anything happened to this layer, we are able to actually, uh, actually there are already applications are live over there. We can actually immediately log into them and start the work over there. So that center, that knock yeah. uses the same set of systems yeah. that we use here, and that, that's in Pune. So yeah. from a people perspective, we can easily transfer the work there. And all the technology, the, the servers and all of that is housed in Ampeva, so it's physically separate, so it's protected from kind of any kind of a big geographical event here. And all this entire architecture is high availability. So anything goes down there, somebody takes over by the so you try to say that if this facility goes down, all the And here, I think uh, we are very proud of that. Something very unique we are talking about it. Where we build this capability to do A, do the service modeling. And also what we do, the, we handle the resource layer, IT-based platform. We are typically what we say in the telecom, the service actually is made out of not only for telecom equipment, but it is equal part from the IT platform. For example, like you know, any like of course we'll explain you, my colleague will explain you three services. One we will actually take you through the e recharge. Why the service? Because we actually do not charge the customer. But that service is a very great convenience to the customer because you know in India at almost all 90-95% basis prepaid. And the e-topper, which is the electronic recharge. Almost all 98% base of that uses that. So that's our service which you're talking about it. Second is we'll talk about the enterprise services, how we manage the SLAs of enterprise customer online. And of course, we will take you through, you can actually see the live how any individual customer, who is our customer, where he stands today as far as SLA services there. And of course, you will also can give a view of any individual customer pen their basis. Rest, we'll also talk about the our just Give a demo of our application performance man management, which is unique, which we have deployed across IT applications, enterprise application, mobility uh, uh, application, which is we call it typically VAS. Like your ring back tone is basically delivered out to our IT platform. But it's not only delivered to IT platform, it also has to go through the entire telecom network. This is where you know we have stitched all these elements together to do this uh, service model. So he will also take you through one of these APM, and the today we want to actually demonstrate how we are very different than any other on handling the CRM, which is again, is not the service which we are charging it, but you know, the customer calls, today we are actually able to find out the call center, the agent sitting is there, when you press the key, how is the response coming? When you ask for a home page, what is coming? Because if this system does not perform better, the person on the other side kept on waiting. So I think these are the three capabilities uh, Manish will develop. Uh, and lastly, I think this diagram was shown to you by Vishan uh, there. So what I understand is like this is the service piece, and if you really see, so we are taking the pod from the resource layer for both IT and the mobile network. We are taking the performance piece across mobility. That means there's a degradation of services. They are not pod, and that's where the disconnects. The system is degraded. There's no pod, but performance has come down. So we capture the performance from there. This is the application piece where we actually take the IT-based platform the health of the app, which we correlate. And this is actually is the probes which are deployed, which actually capture the near real time customer experience management. So these four things together actually is ultimately result in the complete service quality management. So this I think I hand over to Manish. I think he's been there. Okay, Manish, please. Can you move a bit from here? Yeah, yeah please. Manish, you asked how I look after the service management piece and stop. I think Vinay has already explained the logic behind service keys. I'll just add two things for what Vinay has told. From service management, we are looking for end customer user experience perspective. It completes, it complements the infrastructure monitoring what we are doing at resource at an IT level. And third, we work towards the optimization of the service quality through this service management. So here, if you see, we have a pan India snapshot of the services which we are monitoring over here. On the top of the tab, you see we have 14 services listed down. We have uh, nine for mobility, and from NPLC, IPLC, which are your uh, internet lease line, national long distance, those are the enterprise services. And the color of the tab will tell you what is the service quality I am offering to my customer. If the tab is green, that means we have more than 96% of the service levels which are meeting to the customer. Same for warning and everything. We'll go into detail. And this service is actually depicted through our key quality indicators and the gateways, which, which you can see on this video. We'll come back to. 
So to start with, I will take you through one of the mobility service which uh, is a e-top of recharge, electronic recharge. So in India, we have almost uh, over 90% BS prepaid subscribers and out of that prepaid, 98% of the BS uses electronic recharge. It's non-chargeable, we give this option to our customers and we monitor what is the time taken for them to transact and how we are, how good we are able to deliver that to customers. So, here you see, this is the call flow, I will take you through the call flow. Let's have first look at this. So, this in this platform is up, the service is up, right? Or if, but no, exactly what happens if this system is up and this is down, okay, there's a problem to the customer. Similarly, if any of the network element over here, the performance degraded, ultimately customer experience will suffer. And that's what we are saying is now very different. We are now capturing the entire customer experience end to end. When all these components are performing to the best of the capabilities, we say my service is working fine. That means the customer is going to be more happy. And I think Manish will be happy. So much showcase our capabilities as a company. So typically when we bring our enterprise customers out here, we start our conversations by asking them what their business problems are. So it's never about what their connectivity problems are, how many depot locations you want to connect up 50 places, I want to talk to my German, Germany headquarters. Uh, those conversations we try and steer away from. Of course, we will give them those solutions and they will pop themselves up. Typically, that those conversations last between two to two and a half hours. So we try and resist sightseeing tours, where people come and show me experience center and run out, because then you're not having a robust engagement with them and you're not unearthing what really is their problem. Uh, so if you just leave it at that headline for just now, and as my colleague uh, Gurjeet, who looks after the experience center uh, in Bombay, will take you through, uh, we then can probably converge back and then uh, hopefully what he will take you through will spark off some of the type of things that we uh, sort of prod our customers to come up with. Uh, the real joy will be not to sell them a product. The real joy will be to stitch together in a solution that will help them to solve their business problem. So business problem could be anything like, I have too many salespeople, I don't know what to do with them, I don't know what they're doing. So maybe Gujit will tell us what we can do with them. Or I have stocks out in the, in the country which uh, run off from one depot location to the other. I don't know in what condition they're arriving, where they are at any given time. Maybe Gujit will tell us what we can do about it. Or um, any of those, those, those broad issues that uh, we want to get from C-level interactions of what the business issues are. And then use the environment around here to have a far deeper conversations. And it's not that at the end of a two year, the two hour walkthrough that we will come up with a solution. We will probably need to go back to our solutioning people and say, this is the business problem. What can we begin to start doing? How much can we do on our own? Do we need to partner with an application provider on the outside or a device manufacturer or something like that? Uh, so if you want a real robust solution, normally it will come a month later. It won't come one day later because otherwise you would have figured it out for yourself without ha having to come out here. So Gurjeet will quickly, quickly take us uh, through this uh, place. I will step in and um, add in any value that I think I need to add in.